The NHL series from EA Sports has been a mixed bag over the years. While the game has made some major strides in certain areas, see Hockey Ultimate Team and Draft Champions, there are still modes that need plenty of work to really become great. One of those modes is Franchise. It may not be as popular as it once was, but Franchise is still one of the biggest modes that any sports game has to offer, though it can often go overlooked. NHL 17's franchise mode made a step in the right direction with the additions of relocation and an ownership presence, but there's still some things that we want to see. So without any further ado, here's Sports Gamers Online's NHL 18 franchise mode wishlist. First up, let's talk about coach hiring and firing. Madden has it, and NBA 2K has it, so why doesn't a mode called Franchise in NHL have it? Coach firings in the NHL are as common as getting chocolates on Valentine's Day, but it's always been missing in this series. The addition of coaching changes can add a whole new mix to the mode, as that could allow player fits within an organization. If a player doesn't fit a coach's system, or they just don't get along, then a decision whether to side with a player or coach could be made. Hell, even the coaches can offer performance bonuses a la coaches in Hockey Ultimate Team. And even if they can't lock down the likenesses of coaches, at least just let us fire and hire coaches that don't offer what we as team general managers want. Up next, we want to see better contract negotiations. In NHL 17, if you want to negotiate deals, you have to wait until the offseason to do anything. Negotiating with stars a year before they hit the market or young players coming to the end of their entry-level contract is a part of the league, and it needs to be a part of the game. If a player has a year left on their deal, an extension should be discussed as soon as the eligible date comes. And speaking of contracts, it would be nice to see no trade and no movement clauses implemented. It's a small feature that can go a long way towards making certain decisions even tougher. Are you desperate enough to sign a player that you'll give in to his no movement clause demands? What about trying to trade a player with a no movement clause that will only accept a deal to 10 teams? Right now, fans just don't have that option of depth, and it's something we really want. Now let's talk about the trade deadline. On the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions of the game, players would be given cell phones, and the better the GM, the more phones you had, in order to make deals on deadline day. There was a certain window that players had to make trades in, and it was almost as if you were playing a minigame inside the game. With the most recent versions of NHL, however, all that fun is gone. All the NHL trade deadline has become is just another day in the mode. Very few trades are actually made, and there really is no sense of negotiating that makes it feel any different. Deadline day is a different beast in the NHL, and the game should highlight that. Whether it's a blockbuster deal or a small minor league trade, the devs at EA Sports Vancouver really need to make the deadline matter. Next up is expansion mode. Now the Vegas Golden Knights make their way to the NHL next season, and this would be a perfect time to add an expansion feature to the game. NBA 2K introduced an incredible expansion mode in NBA 2K17 that could very well be used as a template of sorts for a similar feature in NHL 18. Whether the league can only be expanded by one team, or there's an option for two, three, or four new organizations, expansion, along with all its bells and whistles, need to be a part of the game going forward. Lastly, we want to see an All-Star Weekend presence. Now you've always been able to play the All-Star game in the NHL video games, but there really has never been a true reason to. Adding the 3-on-3 All-Star tournament may be a big task for such a small part of a mode, but it's something fans would certainly notice and appreciate. Even going as far to add a fully featured skills competition to the weekend would make the All-Star Weekend actually mean something each season. It's been over 20 years since the last EA Sports NHL game to feature a skills competition mode, and it's about time it came back. So what do you think, sports gamers? Do you agree with our list? What do you want to see from NHL 18 this fall? Be sure to comment below, hit that like button, subscribe to SGO on YouTube for more great content, follow us on Twitter, at SportsGamersOn, hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash sportsgamersonline. Until next time, MD, signing off.